Hey guys, welcome to episode 2 of my Mass Effect Let's Play. Um, so we've just landed on Eden Prime and we're going to retrieve that Prothean Beacon. Oh god, what happened? Um, oh yeah, let's spend some squad points. Um, I'll put it all on Intimidate for now. Caden, you can have some on your Sentinel and First Aid. Don't need to put any on Jenkins. Right. What are you? Jenkins, Jenkins is the coolest. He deserves the most points, I think. Oh no, Jenkins! <laughs> I feel like Jenkins. Okay, well, uh, let's switch to my assault rifle. Oh, we'll put our powers. Um, I'm a vanguard. Yeah, that's right. Oh. I really hate the combat system. Yeah, but... Mass Effect 1 was kind of, um... Mass Effect 1 combat was kind of... I don't know, it was a little awful. That'll do. No, okay. Oh, Jen Jen Jenkins. Jenkins. <laughs> Jenkins. I meant Jenkins, guys. Get about him. Leave him. We need oh, to see the douchebag. Such sir. a douchebag. It was just like, yeah, yeah, this is the way it is. Okay. Shoot some of those gas bags. Oh boy. Oh. 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 What's going on? Oh, what? Oh. Um, yeah, the guns aren't that good. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. When you get the big ones. A lot of bodies. They're just... I'm gonna check it out. Yeah, I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Cool upgrade, kid. Oh, I'm gonna just take the little... Oh. Oh. Oh, okay, killed him already. Sorry guys, I haven't played Mass Effect 1 in a while, so the controls are still a bit... I've gone some of the controls. I'm playing for Mass Effect 1 right now, like currently. Like, All um, targets down. The shooting and the powers on the PS3 controller are actually inverted. So uh, when I first started, I just like they actually like screwed me over so much because I kept I kept using like warp instead of actually shooting. Oh lord, what is going on? Oh lord, it's actually... oh. Ooh. Ashley Williams. Okay, where is she? Where'd she go? Okay, guys, she is my least favorite character in the whole of Mass Effect. Um, she is such a scumbag. You'll see that in Mass Effect 2 and 3 later on. But It's a growing thing, Jeff. She, she develops as a character. It's beautiful. It's no, beautiful. Just, just watch, guys. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? We're on a mission. I need a status report. Now. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Stay here, let the professionals handle this. Lieutenant Olenko and I will take care of this. 
Let me come with you, sir. The Geth slaughtered my unit. Give me a chance to get even. She knows the area, Commander. And we could use the extra firepower. Oh, fine. Just don't forget who's in charge. Understood, Commander. You give the orders and I'll follow him. Move out. Well, I don't hate Ashley. Um, let me pistol Ashley gave you. Okay, equipping it, and we'll turn this weaker pistol into Omni Gel. I just hold my stuff usually. I'm just selling it later on. There are so many items you can collect. Yeah, this is what I love about Mass Effect 1. It has a larger RPG element than the other two games. Much larger. The first, the first thing I noticed about Mass Effect 1 when I was playing it was that um, it was a lot more RPG-ish. It wasn't as much of a shooter as the last, as the uh, as the other two Mass Effects. So. Alright, he's shooting up some death here. Uh, shotgun's kind of pointless in Mass Effect 1, what would be overheating. Plus shields. And you don't get close enough to use a shotgun. I do. I just, I just... Perimeter I secured. Messed them up. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here, it must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. We're wasting time here. Let's get moving. Williams, where's the camp? <coughs> it's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Okay. Change of plan, Shepard. There's a small Such this crate. Any better weapons? Assault rifle. Yeah, it does more damage. Turn this into Omni Gel. Um, don't really need a sniper rifle, never gonna use it. Omni gel it. Um, well, this is a way better armor. And let's get going. I'll wait for you there. Ooh, quick save. Yeah, we should do that. Quick save. Um, I don't have such. I don't have such pleasures like quick saving on the PS3 versions. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Or maybe I do. I'm just too stupid to figure it out. Oh god, they're still alive! Oh lordy. Hus, the guys, them? these are, in my opinion, the like most annoying enemy face. They just spawn you. So annoying. And in Mass Effect, they just got that kind of point first. Okay. It must take a few hours for the spikes oh, to turn people into hearts. More, more items. Okay. Oh, our first decryption, guys. And remember, this is on PC. Um, I've seen in other Let's Plays on console, on 360 and PS3, you have to press buttons. Um, but on PC, you have to move, you have to move this arrow into the middle. Oh, done it. Uh, it's, it, it, it can get really hard. Humans, really thank the Maker. Hurry, close the door before Once again, maybe I just suck. How did you end up in this shed? We hid here during the attack. They must have come here for the beacon. Luckily it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses oh. will remain. Oh yeah, we What's can punch this guy. 
Manuel has a brilliant okay. mind, we'll but he's always been a bit like that. unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. <laughs> Say goodnight, Manuel. You cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard. Oh, what a oh scumbag. What did you this do? is why I hate might have been playing Renegade straight. Shepherd. It can you be funny sometimes like that. In the head. It was only but a matter seeing of time the reactions of crazy, the other characters. Dangerous. Yes. Just seem more funny. I suppose right. I know. Time he wakes up, the meds will Williams, take us to the spaceport. Good luck, Commander. Oh, <laughs> well, no, I just wasted a medigel. Oops. I did not mean to do that, guys. Saren. <coughs> He's indoctrinated, Nihilus. Don't trust him. Nihilus. He's indoctrinated by Sovereign. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under- Look out, Nihilus! Oh, what a scumbag. Saren the scumbag. Scumbag Saren. What is Alliteration for guys. Alliteration. It's a ship. Look at the size of it. there we're coming out we're not armed is it safe are they gone nobody moves a muscle until we know who you are nice going Cole I told you we should have stayed hidden it's okay we're all on the same side here we're just farmers we've been hiding ever since that ship first showed up I have to go hey Cole we're just a bunch of farmers these guys are soldiers maybe we should give them the stuff Jeez, Blake you gotta learn when to shut up if there's something you're not telling me. Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You greedy bastard. You weren't running for your life. You were running to check on your merchandise. No, it's not like that. I just I just knew there were some packages here, something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more hey, use out of I'll it than we bust. Will. Intimidate dialogue option. I'm only gonna ask this once. Think long and hard before you lie to me again. Are you sure all you've got is one lousy pistol? Uh. No, no wait. I just remembered. <laughs> I, I just had it in my pocket. Might as well take that too. That's everything, really. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. Would you rather be a snitch or a corpse? Powell. His name's Powell. No honor among thieves. That's all I know, really. So let's try to keep things friendly from here on in, okay? I have to go. Good luck. Take all of it. What is going on? No, Nihilus. Commander, it's not it. 
He dead, guys. He's dead. A Turian? <coughs> you know him? He's a Spectre. He was with us in the normal. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! I like the way you hid behind those crates during the fight. Really helped us out. Thanks a lot. Me? But but I'm just a dock worker. I don't even have a weapon. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. What the hell are you talking about? There were two Turians here. Your friend and another one he called Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. Your call's contact here on the docks. For the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? My supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch! We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Hand over those grenades. Now. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. Too many people died here for you to start jerking me around. Okay, all right. Th there was something else. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Okay, so we are going up the Saren now. Medi gel and we'll use Fro on the Jet Destroyer. Um, the bad thing about Mass Effect 1 is if you're not a soldier, then your health won't heal by itself. You need to have one of those armor mods, which we don't have right now, so it's annoying. Always take off in space.
Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. So we've got to disarm these bombs that sound Demolition charges. Bombs. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. I hate traps, guys. Oh, stop shooting at me. I've lost shields. Oh, sprints. Dead guys, but you, but he will. Yep, he's alive again. Just a scratch. Take cover. No, oh, they don't need to take cover. Oh, let's see. Lost. As long as I survive, that's all that matters. So, I can't use the walls for now. Oh, I hate these controls, sorry guys. I think we're okay. good, Commander. Let's grab that crate, take those, anything else. Okay. Hey, the Perkian B. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual Step away from the technology. beacon, guys. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything no, like Ashley, that. It no, up. Ashley. Something no, must have don't do it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Damn it, Ashley. Shepard! No, don't touch him! It's too dangerous! Oh, Shepard. Cocaine is one hell of a drug, kids.
We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime. The, the Normandy. A human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Doctor! Dr. Chakwas! I think he's waking up! You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Like the morning after shore leave. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You were callous, Ashley. I expect better of my people, Williams. You endangered our oh, entire mission. That reaction. I'm that sorry, so Ashley. On her commander. But we have you're no idea if that's what actually set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. I don't suppose it occurred to you that Eden Prime has medical facilities? Listen, you're better off in this infirmary than in any hospital on Eden Prime. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction, nothing's really clear. Hmm, I better add this to my report. It may... Oh, Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's Hell going the to win council. answers. The Council can kiss my ass. I won't let them blame me for losing the beacon. I didn't do anything wrong. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren. That other Turian. Saren's a specter. One of the best. A living legend. But if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous. And he hates humans. He didn't come to Eden Prime because he hates humans. You're right. Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. But it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Vision. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. They'll think I'm crazy. We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction, whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation as politics. 
Um, Alright guys, this is taking way too long. I am just going to skip the cutscenes from now on, and I will talk about the conversation while we... I, I can tell you what, what what's in the conversation, so yeah, we can just skip through it. So pretty much, we have to go to the Citadel Council, which is like the hub of the whole galaxy, and we've got to report that Saren has gone rogue. And so, we'll just end it there for another episode, and remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Jeff out. Bye guys.